Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior, and this is Card Hunter. Let's go ahead and head to the caverns of the Troglodytes. A warband of filthy trogs have taken residence in a nearby cavern. Full of a rash of uh, disappearances, the Almut villagers are offering a reward to anyone who can clear out a troglodyte infested cavern not far, uh, far outside of town. These foul creatures are said to dine on human flesh and bone. Will you... Will you be next on the menu in the caverns of the troglodytes? Alright, this is a levels 1 through 4 adventure. The small. Okay, Melvin says this is a good learner module for a novice GM like me. The small rocky entrance to the troglodytes war warren juts from a lonely hillside. A dark tunnel snakes downward through the earth, a tunnel filled with an increasingly nasty smell. It ends with a cave littered with human and animal remains. The odor is appalling. There are two trogs here, and they attack you as they as you enter. Versus trogs sniff the air at the prospect of fresh meat. They leap at you, howling guttural shrieks. Okay, these are troglodytes. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do this adventure or the uh, wizard one first. We'll see. Okay, let's um. I can actually hit you from here. So I'm gonna zap you. Take that. Okay. You're still outside my range. Oh, cool. That that is somewhat useful. Spear Thrust has two range, so she was able to attack, uh, was able to attack her. Alright, let's go ahead and do a weak chop. Hit both of them. Stabbing again. Ow. They've both attacked, so no big deal. Okay, Gary's passed. Let's go ahead and shuffle forward. Kill you. Get you. I think I just won this in one turn. Nice. Okay, victory. Onward. Hmm, you guys got lucky there. I have an okay I have on occasion wondered whether this game is too luck based. The you search the cavern. It is 130 feet long by 90 feet wide. It is unremarkable except for the splintered skulls and broken bones scattered around. Two tunnels lead deeper into the earth. Collect loot. Open chest. And... Stuff we already have. Oh, that's kind of cool. cool. Cool looking robes. Alright. Take on continue. Can you be a little bit quieter, please? Melvin says it's important for the DM to be in control of the group at all times. A large ga uh, gallery ca cavern with many ledges stretches out. There are many stalactites and stalagmites, and it, as is common for such places. There are many rats and bats here too. There are two trog scuttlers and a trog spearman here. Okay, in battle. The trogs grunt. Uh, the trogs grunts echo off the cavern's walls, creating a, a cacophonous uh, caterwauling of horror. All right, so we got ourselves a Trog Spearman and some Trog Scuttlers, whatever those do. I think what I want to do is go ahead and move you up. You are going to move there, that's fine. I'll go ahead and just zap you. Sorry about that, um, perhaps kind of uh, crapped out on me, so um, I might have lost a little bit of footage, but we'll go ahead and keep on going. Alright, um, what I was doing... Oh, I got hit with a ranged attack. Oh wow, you're two spaces away, that's why. Let's go ahead and just push you away. Scuttle. Uh, what Scuttle does, uh, what f it, this is a movement that gives you free movement. What free movement does is you can actually move nearby uh, like enemies without actually being hindered at all. Also, th it might actually let you go through uh, terrain as well. Not entirely certain. Okay, let's go ahead and shuffle forward. 
Be a thrust. Locked it. Oh wow, I can't use this card because I have no cards to discard. Interesting. Okay then, let's go ahead and just move up. Ah, I should have used shuffle, I'm an idiot. Okay, Gary passed, and I'm going to go ahead and pass as well. Actually, go ahead and run this way. Just so I don't have to deal with you. Okay. Now, what we can do here... So I can use penetrating... What? How much health do you have left? Seven. You know what? I'm just going to move right here. Ah, they moved away. They always do that. That's okay. Because now I can shuffle. That's going to be annoying. Let's go ahead and put healing presence on you. How much health do you have left? Six. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and move you up. And... I'm gonna go here. Yeah, you're gonna hit me. That's fine. Go ahead and cast this on... Oh, I can't cast this on myself. Never mind. Smack you back. I'm probably going to lose a party member here. Uh, losing party members is not really that big of a deal in this game. As you can always get... Uh, you can always get... Uh, you'll get them back in the next uh, battle. Alright, get rid of weak chop. Okay, I healed him a little bit because of the uh, little aura I have around me. This is actually getting really, really bad. up. Scuttle. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> that's okay. We'll, 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 we'll power through this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is move away. Yep, you got stuck. And what we're going to do is zap you. You're still alive. Barely. <laughs> Go ahead and move you here. And I'm probably going to get hit with another spear. Okay. And what this will do is it will actually kill this guy. Not much else we can do here. This only lasts for one turn. I could risk this, and I didn't die. Okay. In that case, I will... Oh, I can't cast that. Finish you off. Okay. Last turn. Take the simple strikes away. I'm being pretty bad at this. Penetrating stab if this attack is blocked. Okay. This is gonna take... Yeah. Wasn't enough. It happens. here. Kill you. Get you passed. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to hit you. Now the question is, will I be able to get to him? 
Yeah, he's gonna scuttle. Just like before. Oh, can't yeah. do anything. Discarded that card, because we're not gonna use it. Die. Thank you. Alright, that was a bit of a annoyance. Okay, I think it's fair to say that Gary is playing fast and loose with these rules to your advantage. I do not approve. The cavern is filthy and knee deep in bat guano. If you, you can stomach such circumstances, you can find some items of value among the uh, dead tree it does. I don't know how to pronounce that. You will also find the remains of several missing villagers. Returning these remains to the villagers will bring both gratitude and sadness. Okay, collect loot. Yay! Level 3. And get our armor slot. Level 3. Get an arcade and skill slot. Level up. Define armor. Awesome. Open chest. Another staff. Another one of these things. Okay. Yeah. Topaz shards. We can sell that. And these are rare boots. Um, we got a really high movement card that requires you to discard your oldest card. And some decent armor. Okay. So. Who needs it more? Of course, the armor blocks three damage, but it's not a keep armor, which means after it's used, it's gone. Uh, we'll go ahead and equip it to her. You can have that. Um, we do have access to armor now, so we can go ahead and equip that. Which will hopefully be helpful. Um, we can also equip this armor, which will give us spiked mail, which is uh, armor two, and if this armor prevents damage from a melee attack, can, uh, it will damage the attacker and a whole lot of keep armors so good stuff uh, we also got a new axe this is actually this is a divine weapon so let's go over here so we can get this which will have and it's not too bad it has some healing and has unwavering it has wavering faith which will force discard I think I kind of prefer that over uh, having two right for, uh, righteous frenzies. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we also have a staff that we don't need. Okay, so good stuff. Oh, we also have arcane skill, don't we? Which we don't have any yet. Okay, so take all and finish. So now we've unlocked a uh, layer of the Trog Wizard. Hunters report signs of further Trog incursions, pinpointing at uh, a cave on the coast as, a, as the potential source. Okay, well, pretty standard stuff there. Let's go ahead and head to the armory. Uh, we can go ahead and sell these Topan shards for 10 gold. We can also sell this copper bowl, which I should have sold a while ago. Got some more money. Uh, we don't need this many staves. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... What can we get rid of? This is a green wand. It's not too bad. Did I already throw away some of this stuff? Probably did. Yeah, I'll be a pack rat. Why not? Okay, our uh, arcane skills. We can actually pick one up. Fortunately, all the, most of these have uh, negative traits uh, attached to them. Kindler. Yeah, a lot of these are fire-based stuff. I don't really need them. I think we're good to go. Uh, actually, I can try to get a better shield. I can really use one. And it doesn't look like there's anything we can get. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and exit. And I'm going to go ahead and call this a video, so... Well, actually, I'm not going to call it a video yet. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about multiplayer. I don't really know much about it. Um, I know you can do kind of like a versus party versus party type thing. Um, you know, your three units against their three units. Um, I don't know how exactly how balanced that, uh, how it balances and stuff like that, uh, unfortunately. 
Um, another th uh, multiplayer aspect, though, is playing um, custom campaigns that uh, other people have made, which I think is really, really cool that they uh, did that. There's like a, supposedly like an editor. You can kind of make your own tile, and I don't know if there's like you, you can make your own story or something, but you can at least make your own encounters. And uh, yeah, so this game not only has uh, content that's produced by the developers, but by also by the people that want to support the game as well. So I don't know. Take a look at multiplayer. This is the multiplayer library. You can play anytime, but I'll explain it in more detail later. So yeah, not much. Uh, there's casual games, games in progress. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about this. A little, little messy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. I'm the depressed Eeyore, and this is Card Hunter. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see.